So I'm in the, the camper, Aspen Trail, uh, 2019. Um, I'm going to call it 1700BH um, for bunkhouse, which is the little the bunks over here. Um, anyways, just getting this thing ready for a trip. Um, and then, you know, uh, it'll be a rental unit for me. Um, one of the things I ran into, uh, let's see, so here's the, here's the front door. Let me switch, turn the camera around. Um, you can see a little bit better. So here's the, here's the front door and then almost immediately too, it's the panel. And then up on this panel, and, and this is kind of the kitchen area up on this panel, you can see there's a, this has a booster in it. You know, let me turn these lights on booster for, um, I think one is antenna and one is cable or something like that. So you've got a long cable run, boost the signal. And then you also have your um, outlet up here. But if you look, uh, and I'm sure you guys are hate me for this, but I'll twist it again here. If you look, you've got a cabinet up here, and this open. This is pretty good. This is a pretty good size storage here. Um, so you see, I got some big full size uh, uh, box of trash bags up there, a box of uh, like a first aid kit, and I think if we push it, this first aid kit is yeah, it's pretty much against the wall. Um, Actually, I have a tape measure. I could probably measure. I think this is something about like 12 inches deep, something like that. But anyways, if you look, you know, you've got this piece here and you got this piece here. But, you know, obviously if you mount a TV here or something, you're really going to lose the space, uh, which I didn't want to do. And then they've got like another space here for something and it's kind of, but again, uh, step back a little bit. The problem you run into here is then your connections are over here. So... Um, I started looking about, you know, could I mount a TV or something over here? Uh, but then, you know, if you, you, you put a TV over on the side here, you come walking in, you've got, you know, a TV kind of like right out here in your face. Um, and then you got to pivot it. So you've got this lip here that you have to pivot around. So I wasn't really sure what the solution was going to be. So what I settled on and what we're going to do right now is I bought this mount on eBay. It's about $20. Um, that's called a mount it. It's the MI4200 uh, that you see there. So I got that bad boy. And of course, with one hand, I can't get this out of the box. Um, I got this bad boy. And this isn't going to look like much, but this is, you know, it's a TV DVD combo. It's got the you know, RCA ports on it. Um, you know, if you have an old classic Nintendo or something like that, Sega, you want to hook up. It's got the port right here for the TV. It's got HDMI, VGA. It's got a PC uh, audio out. And then it's got uh, just a little thing for power. So my thought is I'm going to try to mount this with this under cabinet mount right here. Um, kind of up here. And I've measured it out such that it's not going to interfere with this. I think I have enough room. Um, and then this is going to go up here like so, and it'll pivot it around, but you can see you still got plenty of space under the cabinet and then it should flip up and should go out of the way. So I'm going to see what I can do in terms of getting these mounted, connected, and hopefully not a, won't have a whole lot of problems. One thing you, you'll have to notice about, let's see if I can show you this again here. Um, this flexes. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's, this is not the real bottom of the, if you were actually in the cabinet here, you know, this does not flex. So there's some sort of a filler here. My guess is the cabinet is, this cabinet is unfinished. Uh, and you can feel there's some nail holes and stuff in there. So they have tacked this, this, oh, that's good. You can see that. Push it back here. Uh, this is obvious there. I wonder, it looks like there's a hole here where a nail was supposed to go. Uh, and it's fallen out or something. So that might be why I found some screws laying around in here. But um, we have to figure out what that's about. You know, how that backing plate, this whole thing impacts um, trying to attach this guy. Uh, because obviously I want to be up here, you know, up in this hard, this hard stuff, not into this this stuff this uh whatever this is because even this right here i mean it looks like stone or whatever it's it's some sort of a print or a board or something you got this little edge on here so um let me work on this a little bit and then we'll see how it goes all right <laughs> so uh i'm like 
like a minute into this thing and uh, what I'm seeing is they've provided these two inch lag bolts um, and they also got some some anchors but if we if we put this up here and we look that is uh, I mean you can't really get into that side but that's pretty substantial we're gonna go up and through and I don't know what's on the other side of this up here um, so I don't know if that's gonna work so um, you're probably gonna have to get some other hardware uh, lucky for me I actually have some other hardware over here um, so I'm gonna give that a whirl uh, and see where we go all right as you can see the TV's installed um, everything went pretty smoothly I only had kind of one little issue here and uh, this thing feels pretty pretty good on the mount um, you know I, that took six screws I got six one inch screws into it um, I lined it up with this guy here because I felt like maybe there was a little bit more support over there um, that actually folds up all the way the only issue that I ran into here was with the blind kind of in here with the the wand in there um, it does kind of catch a little bit but also I found that you could basically do something like this like turn it um, this way you could fold it out of the way you could actually even turn it sideways like this and it only sticks out of the, a little bit so uh, nice little mount seems to hold the TV in place so um, I would say I'm gonna call that good um, let me go sit so I'm at the dinette now um, I can see that I can actually adjust it turn it down a little bit uh, looks good in the dinette and then obviously I can turn it over here so I'm over here on the bed and I can see it so I think that's gonna work for me um, and you know like I said it, it feels pretty secure um, it is flexing the bottom of the cabinet a little bit I did notice there's a screw loose over there so I'm gonna try to fix that um, but I'm pretty sure I actually felt it go into something something sturdy back there and I obviously I didn't catch any of the um, anything so nothing poke, poke through so uh, I would say successful install uh, looks pretty good looks like it's supposed to go there